let's talk about withdrawing the TSP. First point I want to make is the pro rata rules apply. So if you do decide to contribute to both buckets, then you do need to understand how that will work itself out on the distribution phase. Because remember, we're looking for not just accumulation, but we're also trying to prepare for distribution. In next step, let's talk about the pro rata rules and how that will apply on distribution uh, from your TSP if it holds both traditional and Roth TSP. Let's assume for easy math, let's make this easy for us today, you have $100 in your uh, TSP account, and by the time you retire, you have a traditional balance of $90. Again, that's the money that you still have to pay tax on. So 90% of your TSP is traditional and taxable. The other amount that's in the Roth will represent 10% of the monies of the account balance. So we have a 90%, 10% split on retirement, and you begin to draw money from your $100 TSP. If you drew $10 from your TSP, how will that be treated when you receive a 1099 and have to pay tax on it? Well, 90% of that $10 or $9, if we will, is going to be taxable because it's going to be a pro rata attributed to the traditional TSP. The other $1 will be not taxable and attributed to Roth TSP distribution. So we have uh, a, a pro rata percentage approach to distributions when you have money in both sides of the account. So th that is not necessarily all bad. Part of what we're trying to do in managing uh, distributions into retirement is to, in fact, control your, your distributions. And so that keyword control needs to be thought of. C can I control my money? Well, not so much from the TSP because of its limited withdrawal features. But what you do have um, is uh, the ability to consider rolling your TSP to a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. You can move the TSP and its two balances separately into those two accounts. That is one option that, that you can have uh, for your benefit. So let's pause for just a moment and ask the question one last time, why would I Roth? We've given you a few good reasons here, and I've got another one or two to come, but I want to make sure that I give you a, a word from the wit richest and wisest man that ever lived uh, in all, for all time, uh, and it's King Solomon, straight from uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. He put it this way, Divide what you have in seven parts or even it into eight because you don't know what disaster may happen on the earth. Ecclesiastes 11 uh, and verse 2 says that. We talk about diversification and investments between stocks and bonds and real estate and all the different features, uh, investment choices that are out there. We also need to tip our hat towards uh, in, uh, tax in, uh, diversification between pay tax now, pay tax later. Diversifying is a good rule of thumb in every area of life uh, in, as it relates to these, uh, these discussions. So I think that's good. In real brief order, Social Security is taxable uh, if your income crosses th certain thresholds. So for those of you, uh, for the majority of the people online that will draw Social Security, be cognizant that because your combined income may cross the $44,000 threshold, combined income is your federal pension, TSP draws, it, dividends, interest, capital gains, uh, and one half of your Social Security. When those items cross that $44,000 limit, which is a pretty low limit when you look at your numbers, you will begin to pay tax on 85% of your Social Security benefits. A, a quite a high amount of tax ex to be paid in extra uh, in your Social Security and retirement years. So in just, in real brief, I will actually show this. You'll, those that have it on the screen can see it. Let's assume that you did fall into that lower tax bracket and you are now only paying 15 cents on the dollar in retirement. How will that uh, play itself out in, in retirement. What we're going to do is take $1 from your TSP when you retire. That will create a tax of 15 cent because at $44,000 income, you're still in the 15% tax bracket. At the same time, it will trigger uh, on 85 cents of a Social Security dollar. 
The tax at 15% will be about 13 cent. So now that Social Security dollar that wasn't taxable before you drew from the TSP is now taxable, meaning your total tax effect of that withdrawal is 28 cent on the dollar, is now the, um, the amount of tax that you would pay. Why? Because the TSP tax and in income created more tax on Social Security. But understand, the way you save money now can very negatively affect other items on your tax return later.